Hello everybody, I'm High Treason, and guess what? I decided maybe I can upload two playthroughs at once. So I'm going to take it in turns from day to day. One day we'll have Duke Nukem 2, next day we'll have Keen 5. Uh, I forewarn you, I might not do so well at this one, but nonetheless, well, give it a try. So, here it goes. Uh, I'm playing on the uh, Pulsar 16 today. Which means we'll have to load SBOS. This should make SBOS installed. Should make the music and everything rather interesting, given that Keen Five is exclusively for Adlib and Sound Blaster cards. So here we go. A lot of this part will be taken up with story. Yeah, I don't think we need that intro there. I mean, we've seen all this before. It'd be nice to see the title screen, though. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can get this to fire up. Episode 5 The Armageddon Machine After learning the location of the secret Shikadi base, Keen jumped in the trusty bean with bacon mega rocks and blasted across interstellar space. 75 furious games of paddle wall later, Keen dropped out of light speed near the Korath system. It's definitely Japanese, this. He flew toward the planet, keeping it between him and the base. Pulling up underside and docking at the ion ventilation system, Keen must destroy the Shikadi Armageddon machine before it explodes and destroys the Milky Way. He steps into the dark ventilation duct and begins his most dangerous adventure yet. Hold on, it's going to explode while they're in there. Suicide Bombers, this game's offended me. I've never listened to the music on the story before. <laughs> yeah, I could read the long story, but you get the general idea. I mean, it's key. How can you go wrong? I'm going to play in easy mode, but I've been practicing in uh, normal difficulty. Uh, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. That should make it easier to actually hear what I'm saying. I hope. Hold on a minute, we'll test. Yeah, so that that's that done. So, first level... Ooh, hold on a second. Right. Uh, might take me a little while to get used to the game properly. Again, I haven't played it in quite a while other than some practice I've just done. I didn't get very far. I still want to know what your thoughts are on how I should do Jude Nukem 2 as to whether I should do it one episode at a time and then a different game before coming back and doing the next episode or just go through the whole thing. But I thought it was going to be longer so I am tempted just to go through the whole game. I'll be saving a lot in this, I thought one year. Of course, it's easy, that's off. Now I'm assuming you know how to do the impossible Pilgo trick. Um, you press go and then jump very quickly while pressing sideways. If you do it up into there and then up to the right, it should get you out here, which is where you want to be, because if we jump off the side, there's a ton of one-ups here. Man, am I going to ever need those in this game? <laughs> yeah, so I'm tempted to do that as just one long game, because it shouldn't take me too long. I don't know my way around the second episode yet. Last time I recorded it, I got to about the third level of episode two, which is the one I've always been least comfortable with. So, it shouldn't take me long if I practice enough. It's just having the patience to whoa, sit on this machine and practice it. Well, not this one, the P2, but I'm going to need a new graphics card in there. But I've got that spare... No, that's PCI. Well, PCI will do. I mean, it's only a Pentium 2. It's not that fast, so... And this is a Pentium 1, this. This is the Pulsar. So, no, I might be able to use my old PCI GeForce 5 out of this thing in there. But, uh, we'll see, anyway. Because, I mean, it, it didn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be, but... I mean, the graphics card's going. That could cause all manner of problems. Which is a shame, because I liked my old Radeon 9200 that I had in there. Oh, there's usually one of them robots there. These are like the keen equivalent of the rape bots out of Duke Nukem. So I keep firing, because I'm used to normal mode now. Oh, what? Yeah, I told you things had happened in this. Usually I've cut it out, but you know what? 
this time I'm not going to, but don't let that set the standard for this playthrough. I don't want it to give him bad impressions, because I know I can do this. I'm not actually that bad at it, so... I just have to practice first. Last time I failed epically. There's levels about halfway through the game, and some of them I've always struggled with. So I guess we are going to have to go through those, but... I'm going to practice with whatever spare time I have to do that in. So as not to disappoint everybody. And I still like the music in this game as well. I mean, it's probably Bobby Prince, some of his best work, except what he did for Duke Nukem 3D. I need to keep my eye on that time. It's hard getting used to that 15 minute limit still. I don't know if that's too long. Like, some people still, I know, still only upload. Yeah, Impossible Pergo trick really works. Um, some people still only upload them in 10 minute videos. And I don't know whether you'd prefer if I did that. Because I can imagine 15 minutes really been a bit long sometimes. Especially on games like this, because there's not really a lot to them, is there? And my commentary can't be that good, because I haven't done it for so long. I mean, it's probably not brilliant to on a good day, so on a day like this. Hole in the ceiling somewhere, there it is. Sometimes there's items in there, sometimes there's not. It seems to be a bit of a hit and miss situation, that one. There are a few glitches in these games. You wait till you see King 6, that just glitches to death. I've walked through that door before and come out right on top of that robot. It's quite a few design flaws with timing like that in this game. It's can be quite an irritation. Yeah, basically when you see those, just imagine two of them. There's usually multiple of them in harder difficulties. I'm just going to have to reach over and get a drink. I think these levels here are in some kind of order, but you can do them whichever way around you want. But these are harder than the level that proceeds than the ones with the actual uh, machines in. You don't want to be down there. Whoa! Whoa! This keyboard could do with a longer wire. I have to sit like halfway off my seat just to be able to reach it. Ooh, maybe we don't want to go up there. Those things are kind of funny, I suppose. <coughs> Can't be that advanced this place, looks like it's running Unix. Yeah, don't, does anyone here remember Xenix, that operating system? Because I sure do, I still have some Xenix discs somewhere. How was it pronounced Xenix? I don't know, I always pronounced it Xenix. It made me think of Xena, which I've never paid any attention, but... I don't know, it's just what came in my head. And I had it. I actually just... <laughs> oh! That was cool. Let's not try to do it again. <laughs> actually, I really think I should save here. Whatever, I probably spelled it wrong. Does it matter? So, that key... Ah, oh, didn't that go down here? Yeah, there's a lot of this in this game. It forces you to backtrack a lot in these levels. I'm not really a fan of backtracking, I'll be honest. You know, I can probably get across here without activating that platform. In more hard difficulties, that platform up there on the right of the screen, you'd have to, like, activate that, but... It seems to have been kind to me because I'm playing it in noob mode. I mean, I think there's more convenient... It's a bummer. Oh, no. No, you've got to be kidding me. How could I forget that? <laughs> yes, call me a failure. Go oh, on. I don't mind. It's not a secret here. There's some weird secrets in this game, too. Including swast stickers. We'll see those very shortly, possibly in this part. If I can do three or four levels per part, that'll be good. Because then it shouldn't last too long. I might even finish the whole game tonight. Um, but I doubt it because I ain't practiced very fast. So as soon as I start dying, it's a part I'm going to axe. 
So I'm going to try and finish saying things before I start new parts. I don't think there's a robot up here yet. The Mega Man rejects. Oh, I'm going to stay out here. Yeah, what's up, Keen Six? Though you can see when I start really bending the rules of the game a bit and just glitching and shit, I can actually go straight through a wall on it. But the problem is, it sends you backwards opposed to forwards. I'm sure I'd be able to figure out some better use for it if I was in the mood. Last time I was going through that game, I just sounded like I was asleep because <coughs> I was doing horribly at it. And I'm sure you don't want to see it. I mean, I quite like that playthrough, but... Oh, no. I don't think other people would enjoy it, so... I'm not going to upload it. I will just redo it. I mean, it was like... 10 parts or something as well. No, it was like... 14 parts, I think. I was barely doing one level per video. It was awful. There's a robot down here. Oi! <laughs> hate those things. Music sounds good on this card though, I mean that's, that's my favourite tune in the game, I think make it tighter except maybe the uh, weird jazzy one on the uh, gravitational damping hood. Here's one secret, if you jump up in that wall you get John Romero's name. And if we look up there, in the top middle of the screen... Hang on, am I getting the border? I've never seen it do that before. I don't know if you'll remember me speaking about how the border didn't show up on the screen. Ah, I can't get out. I could get out last time. Okay, great. Well, you can usually get out there, so I don't know what's going on this time. Oh, there we go. It must have just been a pixel off. I think I've got about three minutes left, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on that timer. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> just can't resist opportunities to annoy. Look at it on the screen there. It looks like some of a Japanese anime or something. Anime. Anime. Alright, I have the solution. Right here. Right now. Right, this isn't that hard actually, this level. But this is probably one of my favourite levels, so that'll be why. You know what, we don't even need the platform anymore now. I don't, do we have to go down there? I mean, I know we have to go inside here, but there's some at the bottom of the level. I don't think we even need to go there. Just gonna save. Yeah, uh, don't know whether it'll put the Shikadi in this room this time. It will. Yeah, I don't usually bother attacking him. I usually just wait till he goes off to the right there, because it'll walk right up to the wall usually. Alright, now let's try and get clever. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it'll serve me right. And I may as well just load this part, because I'm not going to get any more levels done in this part, am I? I don't have time. Go on. There's a good shikari. Goddamn Nazis. <laughs> oh well. How much time have I got left? Ooh, only about a minute. Yeah, I think I should just go and complete the level. <laughs> you are no match for my impossible pogo trick. Yeah, uh, hurry up, come on, I don't have all day, I need to get out of this level now. Oh, it's not the one that tells you to insert coins. Oh, it doesn't work. I was hoping we could impossible pogo off it, but... Never mind, that'll have to do, so... If you're liking it, come back for part 2 of Keen 5, otherwise just wait for Duke Nukem 2, because, like I say, I'm going to alternate from one day to the next. One of the four main machines protecting the main elevator shaft.
Toast. <laughs>